Alrighty, I know I promised this video a couple days ago, but we were busy in the Discord server taking the newest teaser and dissecting it down to its core, and boy, did we figure out a lot, and I'm even ready to make a wild kind of like speculation on what it could be referencing um and it's kind of bold and maybe you guys won't be too excited it doesn't appear to be about a new coaster unless things have changed and they've moved up our year to 2024 but i more so think it's about the entire new direction that frontier canada is about to head so for those of you that don't know canada's wonderland has stabbed yukon striker with a new teaser literally stabbed it it is in the regular queue line just under the stairs for the employees near their break room or locker room. There's a knife with the other half of the deed that was missing from the Tundra Twister theming area. Um, and it has a lot to say. So without going too in detail because it's boring, boring, blah, blah, blah. I will say a massive kudos to whoever is in charge of these teasers slash theming pieces for Frontier Canada. And uh, yeah, I mean, like literally Jasm and a huge huge thank you to jasmine jasmine was a huge part of the discord going through everything blah 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 and we have pretty much come to the same kind of understanding of what's going on it is a hundred percent a storyline they are forming for the next expansion for frontier canada so similar to the maverick steel vengeance feud it looks like there's going to be a feud forming or has already formed um so far in the frontier canada realm between the Wainwright family. It looks like they bought land together and there was some sort of disagreement and now they ripped the deed in half and uh, the one of the brothers is about to do his business on his plot of land to counter the Yukon Striker Mining Co. So Miracle Mining Co. is going to be that kind of like company that comes in and tries to take over Yukon Striker Mining Co. And that is probably going to be the next coaster in the Whitewater Canyon area. But the teaser doesn't seem to be referencing any coaster in particular, but it 100% looks like it references Whitewater Canyon. So on the map, there's a map that goes from Yukon Striker territory to... Um, all the way up to Dawson City. So Dawson City has a new arrow pointed at it as if they're leaving that area and going there. Again, one of the brothers. Um, and the path that starts halfway there is the exact layout of the queue line for Whitewater Canyon, like to a T. Um, so that's really interesting. Um, so again, that could just be coincidental, but everything we've looked up it, it it appears that this is a hundred percent teasing a whole new area and maybe a ride but i'm more so thinking a storyline so i think it's pretty safe to predict that whitewater canyon is going to be the next home of our expansion for frontier canada you're going to see a very in-depth storyline start forming in 2024 with whatever edition comes whether that's Action Theater or a Whitewater Canyon complete upgrade, which I think is the safest bet um, to predict, considering Carowinds is also surveying their guests for a water attraction upgrade, whether it be a log flume, a Whitewater Canyon upgrade for their Whitewater Canyon Rapids ride, or a mock Power Splash water coaster. So I think it's pretty... Um, transparent that Cedar Fair is looking at C um, Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland's raft rides and looking at what to do with them. And I can't see Wonderland getting rid of theirs. It's a really popular attraction, but it is in need of a facelift and upgrade similar to what Timberwolf Falls received. So why not upgrade it as a whole with that little area we saw with that wooden coaster um, surveying in the survey, upgrading that in 2024, and then the coaster comes in 2025. Again, if any of those coasters were to come in 2025, it looks like the wooden coaster would be the most likely. Yes, it's a family coaster, but hey, maybe things will change. I don't think that that coaster is receiving quite the feedback that the park was expecting in the surveys. I do think that they are getting a lot of boredom, and I think that they might be in slight panic phase with how unpopular Tundra Twister is amongst the general public. I don't think they were expecting that. So they will be in panic phase with this whole concept of adding slightly more GP friendly and boring rides. No matter how you look at things, it is starting to affect the park. Now, there are things outside of their 
realm affecting the park as well, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that. But I do think that the park needs to sit down and have a look at their future planned attractions and realize that, you know, they need to start planning something that is going to wow the general public. And I do think, despite my opinions on the wing coaster not necessarily being the right launch coaster for the park, it does look like that wowed people in the survey. So I can see them 100% moving forward with that. But again, they're still surveying the land. So I can't see that being for 2025 unless it is a Valraven and they do it so last minute, blah, blah, blah. Not going to get into that either. Nonetheless, really excited about the teaser and how it is um, foreshadowing a feud similar to Cedar Point's feud and a storyline forming for the 2024-2025 editions. Anyways, have you... Uh Blah. you guys have a look at these teasers and let me know in the comment section if you see anything that i potentially missed there are numbers on here i'm gonna choose to ignore some of them um but there are some in brackets there are some in different colors so they definitely have some sort of reference again i will say whoever made these teasers slash um storyline theming pieces at canada's wonderland this year did it so well that we found the exact documents that these were forged from to create ours. So again, very impressive on Wonderland's part and whoever is doing this at Wonderland, you did not go unnoticed. We found those documents that you used and these are very historically accurate down to the dates, guys. They have the dates on here for the storyline and everything. They match in with the Yukon Striker, or not the Yukon Striker, the Yukon Territory Gold Rush. So Kudos to you. Really impressed by this. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's analysis of the teasers that we have so far. Definitely go check out the Knife and Yukon Striker, and see you guys at the park. Have a good one. Bye.